Welcome to the first SOLIDWORKS training video. In this video, I will go over the different types of files used in SOLIDWORKS. I will go over what sketching is, and I will demonstrate a simple sketching exercise. The first type of file in SOLIDWORKS is the part file. A part file is basically what it sounds like. It's a file that stores all of your parts that will later be used in an assembly. This is also where you do all of your 3D modeling. The second type of file is the assembly file. It's exactly what it sounds like too. It's a file where you take all of your part files and assemble them to create the whole 3D model and to see how all the parts will interact with each other. Let's use the robot as an example. You would model all of the separate components like brackets, bolts, wheels, and motors in part files and assemble them in, a, in an assembly file to create the whole robot. Sketching in SOLIDWORKS is just a drawing in a part file that can later be used with other features to create the model. It is very important because you can't use any of the other features in SOLIDWORKS without creating a sketch first. To be proficient in SOLIDWORKS it is very important that you learn how to sketch properly. Your sketch is undefined when it is missing dimensions or relations so it is free to move around. Undefined sketches are extremely bad when you're modeling because everything has to have a dimension so that it is essentially locked down and there are no ambiguities in your model. When your sketch is blue it means it is undefined as seen in the picture. When your sketch is black, it is fully defined. This is the first sketching exercise that I will go over and we will be recreating the sketch in SOLIDWORKS. So after you've installed and opened up SOLIDWORKS, this is the screen that you'll probably see. At the top it gives you the option to create a new part or assembly file and at in the middle it gives you the option to open up recent documents but for now we'll just create a new part file if you didn't get that screen you can just create a new part file by going up to file then new make sure part is highlighted then click OK Every time you open a new part file, it is very important that you use the right units. Down at the bottom right, it gives you the option to change your unit system. The default selected one is IPS, which stands for inch, pound, second. There's also MMGS, which stands for millimeter, gram, second. CGS, which stands for centimeter, gram, second. And MKS, which stands for meter, kilogram, second. I'll always try to specify which unit to use, but for now, since we're just practicing sketching, it doesn't really matter. So to start a sketch, you go up to the top and click sketch, and then the sketch button, and it'll ask you to choose a plane. For now, it doesn't really matter, so I'll just choose the front. Up at the top, you have all your sketch tools. You have the line tool, the circle tool, the spline tool, the rectangle tool, the arc tool, the ellipse tool, the slot tool, the polygon tool, and the fillet tool. When you're making a sketch, you always start out by drawing the basic shape. So I'll start drawing the basic shape using the line tool. It doesn't matter how big it is right now because later we're going to add dimensions to fully define the sketch. And you may also not see the dimension tool popping up when you recreate the sketch. I just have a setting changed to make it easier and faster when I'm sketching. As you can see it's off center right now so to move to the center of the screen, I'll press Control and the middle mouse button, and I'll move the sketch. 
To zoom in and zoom out, use the scroll wheel. As you can see, right now the sketch is underdefined as noted down here at the bottom. And you can tell this because these lines are blue. As you can see, I can move the sketch around very easily because there's no dimensions to specify how long this line or any of these lines are. So we'll go ahead and start dimensioning this sketch by using the Smart Dimension tool here at the top. To add a dimension, first you click the line, then click again to place it, and then type in the dimension. And I'll do that for the rest of the sketch. When I click this line, it gives me three options. The diagonal dimension, the horizontal dimension, and the vertical dimension. Since we're recreating the sketch, it gives us the horizontal dimension, so I'll click and drag my mouse up to get the horizontal dimension, and I'll click again to place it, and I'll type in the dimension. As you can see, the sketch starts turning black, which means it's starting to get defined. Once I add this final dimension, you can see that the whole sketch turns black, and down here at the bottom it says fully defined. Once it's fully defined, the sketch can be used with other features like Extrude or Revolve, but we're not going to go over those right now. This concludes the first introductory video to SolidWorks.